Hey, what's happening guys? Playing with this OLED screen today. And this is something a little different. This is a full color OLED, 65,000 colors. Now this is your standard 0.96 inch OLED. So if we look at a monochrome OLED, you can see they are basically the same size, this being the monochrome, this being the full color. But the difference lies in uh, the resolution. Our monochrome OLED is 128 by 64, and our full color OLED is 96 by 64. Now it does have an onboard voltage regulator, so you can power this from 3.3 volts or 5 volts, and that works out really well. And it is also SPI. So this is a 7-pin interface, and I will show you how it hooks up here. Let me bring in a pad, and let's zoom out a little bit. So if we start at pin 13, it hooks up like this. This is S-Clock. This is MISO, which we are not using. Pin 11 is MOSI, Master Out Slave In. Pin 10 is SS, which is Slave Select, also called CS, Chip Select. Pin 9 is DC, Data Command, and Pin 8 is reset. So it's pretty simple to hook up. Let's uh, zoom back in and take a better look here. We have our chip select or slave select going to pin 10. Our data command goes to pin 9. Reset goes to pin 8. Now on here they're marking it as SDA data. That's our MOSI, our master out slave in because this is the slave. Our SCL, our serial clock goes to 13. Our VCC is going to 5 volts and of course our ground is going to ground and we've got them plugged into the Arduino. Just like that. Now let's go take a look at this on the Banggood website. All right, here's that screen on Banggood's website. Again, this is the 0.96 inch, seven pin full color, 65K color, SSD 1331 SPI OLED display for Arduino. Now the driver chip that it's using here is the SSD 1331. And that's used in a lot of these different chips, and we'll, uh, we'll talk more about that later. Uh, U.S. price on this is $1,108. Oh, clicked the wrong box there, didn't you, Paul? All right. U.S. price $1,108. For those of you in Germany or other parts of the EU, it is 9.76 euros. And for those in the U.K., 8.67 pounds. And if you're down under, man, it's expensive. 1514. So there you get a look at it. It is a uh, nice looking display. And we're going to have some fun with it. I just wanted to say this display was provided to us at no charge from our friends at Banggood. All right, we're going to take a look at this uh, quick little graphics test code here. But uh, first, I want to show you the library we're using is the UCGlib by Ollie Kraus. So we're going to go over here to our library manager. And if you come in here and just type UCG, 
it comes up UCGLib by Oliver and I'm running version 1.4.0 on the Arduino IDE 1.8.1 you see it's already installed here on my machine if you need to install it you can just click more info select your version and click install now I'd gotten a question before about an OLED from a viewer named Carl who wanted to know which was the easier library to use whether it was a uh, the Adafruit library or the UHG library um, in this case I thought I'd just play around with the UCG library to show you what some of the differences are and the main one is the UCG library supports so many different chipsets you're gonna have to come down here where it says please uncomment and update one of the following constructors you're gonna to have to know what chipset your display is using in this case we know it's the SSD 1331 so we come down here and we find it and you have two options you see this is the software SPI option and this is the hardware SPI option that we're using and we have our pins here our uh, data command our chip select and our reset are specified here I'm not going to go into this code it's just an example code from the library you can check it out yourself but just make sure if you try and use this you need to um, select which chipset you have and if you're using hardware or software SPI so I'm going to upload this to the UNO and then we're going to go and take a look at it okay I've uploaded everything I'm going to reset it here and hopefully we'll be able to get a good look at it the colors are definitely very vivid you can see here drawing some triangles in there it's drawing them quite quickly fonts it seems to uh, work with uh, great speed and the colors look really good you know the only thing is we're losing uh, 32 pixels in width as compared to the monochrome OLED but I mean that's a good trade-off for a nice color screen like this let me reset it again here what it's doing is it's just rotating everything but everything is very crisp and sharp so let me put together um, a little demonstration sketch showing you why you might want a color OLED all right so here's a little demo I whipped up for you guys using a uh, DHT 11 temperature sensor you can see I've done the uh, title in blue the temperature in red and the humidity in green and then white for the values so give you just a little bit of an idea of how nice things can look with um, a color screen however this library is a little more difficult to work with let's go take a look all right here's that little demo you just saw UCG library with the DHT 11 yeah here's our includes for the libraries nothing big there defines nothing big there our constructors we've already gone over that now here's where it starts getting a little bit more interesting in our setup we have the UCG begin and then we have UCG font mode transparent you have a couple choices here transparent or solid it deals with the background of the font uh, you definitely want transparent and then UCG set font now instead of just being able to set the font size this has separate fonts so this is a 5 by 8 font so you have to every time you want to change font size you're gonna to have to use a whole new set font command with the this argument here set up for whatever font you want and in the um, online reference material 
Okay, this has a real nice um, reference section, this library online in his GitHub, and I'll paste a uh, link to it down below. But here we have um, all of the stuffs here, commands. But over here, if you come over to these different font groups, it'll bring up a listing of these fonts. Like here we have 03B, here's 24. Well, there's some big ones. Let's find a different one. Like this is some 11 high fonts. And here's the name UCG font courier b10.tf. Well, these are graphics, so you can't copy them. I don't know. In my opinion, it's just a pain in the butt to deal with. Anyway, clear screen, nothing big. DHT begin. Okay, so down to our loop, we grab the humidity and temperature off of the DHT11. Then we do our set print position, our set color. In this case, it's blue. These are RGB values. And then I print this stuff. And then I tried this with a print line. Yeah, that doesn't work with this library. So instead of being able to just drop down by saying print line, you have to set a print position for everything. So we set color and print position for each line we want to use. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to have this color library, but it's a pain in the butt. I've read that this will work with um, the Adafruit library, so I'm going to be trying that, and that will be in an upcoming video. All right, you know, so here it is working once again. And as you can see, I've got a couple of scope probes hooked up. One to the data and one to the clock. And I thought we would just uh, take a look at how that looks on the scope. All right, so here's the scope running, hooked up to the Arduino with our little demo sketch going. And this is our data line. This is our clock line. And you see the data line is high, so we have the trigger set low. And we can see this. Now what I'm going to do here, since this is done, is I'm going to put it in single shot mode. All right, so there, now we've frozen in on the data. And we can zoom in and take a look at it. So you can see the the data line drops low when the clock pulses are high. Let's go to uh, split window mode here. We'll be able to see a little bit more. I thought we would, huh? There's another instance. Let's see if we come out of this here. Yeah. There you can see all the data that we've grabbed there, three separate pulses. So that's just a little bit of a just a little bit of scope fun for you. Well, I hope you guys like this video on the color uh, display from Banggood and a little bit of info on the UCG library. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. And if you would, share this video somewhere else and help grow the channel. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.